Simulation of transit evacuation and pedestrian software, otherwise known as STEPS, is one of the most widely used pedestrian modeling software packages on the market. STEPS predicts people's movements through three-dimensional spaces. SCV understands that the management of people flow is important both for space utilization and safety considerations and has specialists like Steve Scalisi using this software to help develop solutions for our clients. Some STV projects that have used the STEPS software package include the World Trade Center Hub in Lower Manhattan, the Hoboken Terminal for New Jersey Transit, and Eastside Access for Metro North and Long Island Railroad at Grand Central Terminal. Steve and his team are examining numerous conditions at Grand Central Terminal, like the morning and evening peak pedestrian flows, and incidents such as escalator failure or heavy trafficking which may cause crowding and other problems in the terminal. The first clip that you're going to see is a fly around, looking west, proceeding from the subway connections into the main concourse of Grand Central. It will demonstrate where people are moving. Not quite give you an, an essence of level of service or the usage pass. This is just to demonstrate how people would flow from a bird's eye view. The second clip you'll see is person's usage pass. That is how people walk through Grand Central and how hot, if you will, their paths flow as they move through the terminal. The deeper the color, the more people you walk along those paths. And this particular clip, you can see where people are, where people aren't. Maybe that's an opportunity for a kiosk. Maybe the design is too wide. Maybe it can be narrowed. This starts the beginning of affecting the design. In the third clip, you're going to look at levels of service. The deeper the color, the redder the color, the worse the level of service would occur. Typically, that's an unacceptable condition. So we've used the software uh, more than any firm in the city uh, for any number of applications. We, as I said, we've used up for half a dozen clients. We're now using it out in California for our high-speed rail work. So I, can, I sincerely believe that, that we're amongst the top leaders in the country using pedestrian simulation. Certainly in settings where we're using it, it's very complicated. Multi-story terminals, two terminals in one location, for example, Eastside Access, as well as Metro, as well as Grand Central Station, and into the subway system. These are very complicated models that we're creating. I'm not sure there's any firm that's used the software as, as we have used it. So in that case, we're, we're amongst the vanguard uh, in using pedestrian simulation software.